Pizzi from eatthebite.com, and today we're making chicken valdostana. It's a northern Italian dish with just a few ingredients and tons of flavor. Let me show you how to make it. First, I'll finely chop some parsley, which I'll use later to garnish my dish. Next, I'll slice the fontina cheese. We'll need two slices of cheese per piece of chicken. So I'll slice all the cheese and I'll set that aside while I finish my prep. There was a little bit of fat on my chicken breast, so I just took a moment to cut that off. Next, I covered my thin cutlets in plastic wrap and pounded them down a bit to make them as tender as possible. Then I seasoned with salt and pepper. I did flip the chicken over to season the other side. And I added a little salt and pepper there as well. I've got some flour in a bowl and I'll add garlic powder, then mix it with a fork. I also added a little salt here and I mixed that with a fork as well. Now it's time to start dredging the chicken in the flour mixture. Simply place the chicken breast on the plate and cover both sides with flour. It is best to turn the chicken over to ensure full coverage. Then set the chicken aside on a sheet pan. And you should do this for all of your chicken pieces. And now it's almost time to start cooking the chicken. Get your cooking station ready with the fontina cheese you sliced earlier along with the sliced black forest ham. I melted some olive oil and butter in a pan and I just gave it a little swirl around before I add the chicken. I have six pieces and I'll cook them in two batches. I cooked four in the first batch and two in the second. I've said this before in other videos, do not touch the chicken once it's in the pan. The goal is to brown and crisp it a little. We're going to cook it for three minutes and when it's ready we'll turn the pieces over and cook the other side a couple of minutes. Remove the chicken from the pan and then cook the two remaining pieces. And once all the chicken is removed, I'll add a touch more butter to the pan. And I'll use some of that flour from the dredging station to create a roux, which is a thickening agent for sauces. I'll use my plastic whisk for this since I don't want to scratch my pan. And I'll mix the flour and butter together for about two minutes. Next, I'll add my white wine to the pan. Then I'll whisk that together with the butter and flour. Next, I'll add the chicken broth and I'll give that a good mix as well. We need to whisk everything together for a couple of minutes until it thickens a bit. Next, we're going to put all that chicken back into the pan. And I do like to turn the chicken pieces over to make sure both sides get coated with a little bit of sauce. My ham was sliced razor thin, so I ended up putting about one to one and a half slices on top of each piece of chicken. Last step, we're going to place two strips of the gorgeous fontina cheese on each chicken piece. Then we're going to put the lid on the pan for a few minutes to let the cheese melt. Then we'll remove the lid to see a melty, cheesy, chickeny delight. And now it's time to eat the bite. The chicken is tender and juicy and the fontina cheese is mild, but it offers a great complement with the ham, chicken, and the brothy sauce. I hope you give this one a try. It's easy and delicious. That's all for now. For this and all the printable recipes, you can visit my website at eatthebite.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.